This is the Papercut Embedded application running on the Toshiba eStudio 4540C. In this video, I'll be running you through the core functions and features of Papercut on the Toshiba, such as user authentication, tracking and controlling copier use like faxing, scanning and USB printing, as well as secure print release and account selection. We start here at the device's authentication screen. This screen helps create a secure print environment and restricts unauthorized access to the copier's functions. The Toshiba supports authentication through a username and password combination, as well as a swipe card. Today we'll be logging in using the swipe card, which can easily be tied to the user's account via card self-association. This can be configured in the Papercut admin interface. If I've forgotten my card at home, I can still log in using the username and password. I'll now log in using my card. And here, we've been taken into the Papercut application. Here in the Papercut office, we've configured the Toshiba device with a print release queue. The admin of your environment can configure the device for print release using the Papercut admin interface in device settings. In the Papercut application screen, we are presented with the print release queue and account selection summaries, showing the amount of held documents I have in my release queue. If I select the Select Jobs button here, I'm now taken into the print release queue. The queue also allows for Papercut Find Me printing, where a user can print to a global print queue and release their jobs at the MFP they log into. Here, I can either print or cancel the selected job. I can also print all of the queued documents if needed, or refresh the queue. I'll now release my job making the perfect espresso here, by pressing the print button. Papercut now shows us a confirmation dialog. I can go back to the print release queue by pressing the back button in the upper right hand corner of the screen here. Papercut on the Toshiba also support charging to shared accounts or departments. The default setting is to charge to the user's personal account, but in this instance, the administrator has given my user, John, permission to charge to other accounts in my Active Directory group. If I select the Change Account button here, I'm now taken into the Account Selection screen. Here at the top, I can see the current account selected. I have the option to search for the account by code. This is useful in professional organizations where there are many client or project based accounts. And here, I can select the accounts from a list. Here I have Economics Department, History Department, and Mathematics Department. I'll select the Mathematics Department. And Papercut will take us back to the summary page and confirms the account selection. Now if I want to use the copier's functions, my usage will be tracked and controlled by the Papercut application. To access the Toshiba's functions such as copying, faxing and scanning, select your intended function from the action buttons here on the right hand side of the screen. Today I'll be selecting copying. And now I can use the Toshiba's copy controls. If I want to return to the Papercut application, select the menu button here and then the application button here in the top right hand side of the screen. If I want to log out of the Papercut application, select the access button here on the Toshiba's display. The Toshiba will now display a confirmation dialog. Confirm by selecting yes. And that is our brief tour of the Toshiba eStudio 4540C running the Papercut MF Embedded Application. If you're looking for more information about our embedded solutions and other products, be sure to visit our website at www.papercutmf.com.